Hi, I'm Arizona Divorce and Family Law Attorney Kyle Scoresby. This video is about the differences between a divorce and an annulment. Um, people mistakenly think in, often that to get an annulment, as long as you've been married less than a year or some short amount of time, that you're automatically entitled to an annulment. That is not the case. So let's talk about the major differences in grounds for a divorce or an annulment. In Arizona, we have what, what's called a no-fault divorce law. Unless you have a covenant marriage, it's a special marriage license, you'll know if you have it. Unless you have that special marriage license, Arizona does not require that you prove grounds to get a divorce. You don't have to prove there's been infidelity or abuse or anything like that. As long as one of the spouses believes the marriage is irretrievably broken, you're going to be able to get a divorce. Annulment, however, is different. With an annulment, you have to prove grounds. There has to be, according to the statute, some impediment that renders the marriage void. So that could be something like an underage marriage where someone lied about their age, got a marriage license, and they really weren't, you know, they, they didn't meet the requirements to get a marriage license. Um, it could be maybe an incestuous marriage uh, to a cousin or something like that that's not allowed in Arizona. And a lot of times what happens is someone's divorce from their first spouse isn't final and they go ahead and get a second marriage license and get married. That's, that second marriage is a bigamous uh, marriage. It's against the law in Arizona and that would be grounds for an annulment. Occasionally there can be other fraudulent grounds. Um, someone lies about a critical element and their, their spouse would not have married them if they had known the truth. That might be a basis for an annulment. So, whether you should seek a divorce or an annulment, that, that's the big question. So, you know, you don't gain a lot of advantages even if you succeed in getting an annulment. The one advantage you would gain if you were worried about having to owe spousal maintenance, getting an annulment would prevent an award of spousal maintenance. Property, though, is going to be divided basically the same in an annulment as it is in a divorce. So, a lot of times it's just better to pursue the divorce you sp usually spend less money on lawyers because you're not having to try to prove grounds for, for the, the dissolution of marriage compared to the annulment. So if you have any questions though and think that you might be entitled to an annulment and may want to go that route, absolutely give us a call and we can discuss that.